Welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we're going to head up to North Dakota and hunt whitetails with Double B Outfitters on the ground. On the ground, yep. You know, there's a lot of times you talk about, well, you know, oh, I was up in the stand and all. When you're on the ground, eye level with these deer, it's, it's what a unique situation. And more than anything is North Dakota. You know, yeah. I think the residents know what they have there, but I don't think the non-residents know. I, you're not, North Dakota's not known for whitetails. You betcha. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're known, you know, water, they, they have good whitetails. They have, yeah. And then, when, you know, when David and John Brandt invite us up there and you see what they have on their wall, you see what they have in their barn. Now, David and John, this is the first year, last fall was the first right. year, they actually took hunters, this is the first year they did outfitting on their, they own over 5,000 privately owned continuous acres and turned it all over to wildlife habitat and right I mean, it's, and, and they've oh, managed it for wow. over 20 years so you can imagine what they've got running around out there i mean i know for a fact they, they i think they took eight eight hunters or something this, this past year right and all of them tagged out with with longbow recurve and compound right jody davis used to play for the chicago cubs yep. catcher good friend of ours jody went up there and shot the biggest buck he's ever shot right in his bow hunting career and we have a good encounter with him also oh, yeah. on this on this week's show and well you know what I guess it's ladies first. That's right. So this is going to be my first deer I've ever taken in North Dakota. Yep. Because I've never been up there to hunt. And that's what for a sure. cool deer. And it's on the ground with your double On the bull ground, blind. in my double bull blind. And he's just a really unique deer. It was one of those deer that you just can't pass up. Hmm. Wow. Did we find a honey hole up here in North Dakota? Yep. You betcha. <laughs> Yes, Vicky and I met up with David Brand a couple of years ago. Heck, you might remember him. He was the super guy who gave up part of his hunt to help us track my giant Kansas buck. David and his brother John are truly some of the best people you can ever hope to find. This is a family-run outfit, and being there on their very first season, wow. All we could say is hold on. You betcha this is a winner. This rural setting in East Central North Dakota is covered up with wildlife. They personally have been managing their over 5,000 acre family farm for some 20 years. No, there's no fences here. Just two good old North Dakotians who patrol their land every single day. And these are two guys you don't want to be on their bad side. This place is covered up with deer and great deer at that. But that's not it. It is loaded with waterfowl and all types of wildlife. I mean, so many ducks and geese, there were times we thought of the movie, The Birds. Their entire farm is set up for wildlife and you can't believe all the critters they got here. The hunting is done from established double bull blinds and stand locations that are in the only cover available. These deer can be seen all day long and due to the open terrain, you hunt the afternoons. And David and John take you waterfowl hunting in the morning, if you'd like. And for us, this was truly a new and wild experience. And one we found out we can get hooked on in a very fast order. In all our travels, we can tell you this. This was a giant surprise for us. And one we hope to go back and back again for a long, long time. He's got an extra bean bean too. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Let's finish Vicky's hunt.
So, we gave the deer 15 minutes before we got out of the blind. I truly believe he just went down right over there. But So we're gonna go back to the house and call David and John and tell Big D and Big J that I need them to come and help me carry this buck out of here. That was a great deer, Thank and I mean... He was so unique. I mean, that's one of those deer that you can't pass no, up. I mean, he's no. got a little drop, he's got an extra main beam going straight up. It, I was sitting there going, oh man, how come he don't come down my trail? He, no, I was pretty excited, but I have to tell you, I learned a big lesson in, in that ground blind. It, my bow was still set up at 57 pounds. For, for the moose, for the moose and, the and the caribou and, and all the other hunts I had gone on earlier in the season, those bigger boned animals, and I didn't turn it down and it was cold and I had all that heavy gear on because I was cold out and I went and I drew back and I had a hard time drawing back but then once I got drawn back on it my arrow, my, my, my shirt, my jacket collar kept knocking my arrow off my rest. I mean I probably had it come off my arrow rest four or five times. I know I was there I was like oh. I know no, you, you said you said oh. Vicky let down and I go no but I ended up making a good shot you on did. him. He you only went him. he went like 60 yards. I don't even think that. I really don't. Yeah, I mean, just up through over that one, that, over big, that, little, that, that dead fall, yep. and, and that was the end of it. And I mean, that's just one of them bucks I, I couldn't pass. You know, and that, that is a good tip to remember. When you, you know, depending on your hunting situation, hunting warmer weather, you can draw some, you, most time you can draw a yeah. little more poundage. So as the season c continues on, decrease the poundage. Which Put I the did. bulky clothes on and <laughs> practice because <laughs> sometimes the colder it gets, the less your muscle tone is, and you're going to struggle. So decrease it. Today's bows, especially the Hoyt cam and a half, I mean, with our beam and arrows, they're going to outdo anything. Well, as we had mentioned also early at the beginning of the show, is we were up there hunting with Jody Davis. He's a former cub, he, former cub player, and we've got some awesome um, encounters uh, with him. We actually grunt in this buck, I mean, and he comes like a, that true talker, it was like, whoo, reeling it in and just trolling. You check need to this check out. these out. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, as we said, they've got great waterfowl hunting up there in North Dakota, and I want to share with you some really entertaining footage that we have of Ralph waterfowl hunting. I got one. <laughs> I got a duck. I 
Oh, beautiful shot. Right, look out. Incoming. Incoming. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Oh, right. oh, baby. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 wait. I got him. <laughs> Ralph, congratulations on that duck hunting. You know, no one ever told me that waterfowl hunting is that physical. I mean, I was bruised, cut, bleeding. I, I, they, they say laughter is the best form of medicine, and I feel pretty right down there? happy after that incident. <laughs> I'm out of here. Come on back. We'll talk about something that was better, okay? Yeah, let's talk about Okay, let's talk about your deer up there in North Dakota. Yeah, now, now you're, you're being responsible. You understand that this is what we need to be talking about. Yeah, okay. My okay. deer. Okay, so tell me about your deer. It was awesome. You know, you know what was cool is the way David and John, I mean, they're, they're there 24-7. They actually, we're going to share with you a little bit of home footage. Now, this is home video of these guys because they're out all the time. They actually captured my buck with their home camera in velvet. At the beginning and, of August. Uh, it was awesome. Check this stuff out. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's continue on with Ralph's North Dakota hunt. to this point because a lot of these bucks will come through through the timber to get out to these feeding patterns we actually have some apple trees here that a lot of the does have been milling around and coming through and and all of a sudden i don't know what it, the wind's coming and if you could see we've got a big front possibly even snow tonight tonight and tomorrow this buck comes slowly through. He walked five yards from our double bull blind. You talk about concealment, you talk about having your scent on. Our sprays, we actually sprayed raccoon urine on so we didn't disturb anything. He come right in front of us. He was right in front of our, our, our double bull. He wasn't even five yards. He hesitated right there. We have a small scrape and we've seen a lot of deer going stopped he was 20 yards zipped him and he went down right there oh my god look at that huh there he is good one good one he's a pretty one yeah he's a dandy <laughs> John, I, I'm telling you what, guys, I, and, and I said this before in the blind, and I'll say it again, folks, we are in North Dakota, and I'm telling you what, 
I, I can't tell you how many deer. Look at the size, the body of this deer. He's a good deer. He's, he's uh, And you guys got his sheds? I got his sheds from last year. These, pe these guys live with these deer. I mean, they, thousands of acres that they own, and it's just, it is covered up with wildlife. I mean, look at this guy. He's got so much character. Holy smokes. Let me tell you something. If you're looking for a place to... to the field of dreams. <laughs> we found it. Oh man, David. Hey, John. Thank you so much. We're glad you got him. Thank you, big guy. We got wow. With him. I, I want that. Oh yeah. Hey, Ralph. Do you need a, something to stand I need a on? Stool. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was an awesome hunt. That, that was a great deer. It was, I mean, everything about it. When you when you're on when you're ground level. He was a big body deer too. He was huge. You know, and when we first saw him, because I mean, he was five yards from us. The wind was so strong, we couldn't tell. I mean, you'd look out, you'd see nothing, and we're in that thick cover. You couldn't hear anything. David and John said, listen, guys, I know it's windy, but you need to get out here, and let's go over to this point. And they actually said it's always windy, Yeah, I think is what they said. I, well, they've been there their whole lives. They know that, exactly right. what's going on. And, and it, I mean, we saw a deer run through the field, figured, this is kind of a wasted afternoon. We, we had, had a couple of those come through. come through the little apple they were grove there. because but, of the wind. I mean, but you got to remember, up there, they don't have a lot of cover. No. It's either hedgerows or these little, little standing one acre plots of timber. I mean, that's it. You're right. And they know their deer. They know what they're going to do. And it's but you did what good. an incredible hunt. I got to tell you. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and just so, so all that email that we received, you know, about her always kicking my butt. Guys, <laughs> we outdid them again. Is this great? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. But we do want to thank David and John and the whole family up there and everyone up For there sure. because with Double B Outfitters, great team of people and just awesome experience. A sleeper that you definitely want to wake up to. <laughs> you better believe it. You betcha, eh? You betcha, eh? <laughs> hey, we also want to remind you to check into archerschoice.com every once in a while and see what new things we got going on on there. We are going to have a new membership joining our new, up. A new club, our team bow hunters, Archer's Choice team bow hunters. And yep. it's, we want to involve everybody, the family and everyone. There's some really neat, exciting things going to be going on there. And the other thing also is starting July 1st, yep. the Outdoor Channel starts their Golden Moose Award voting for fan favorites, so we need your help. Yeah, come on, let's try it. <laughs> Anyways, remember, come back next week, same time, same channel, right here on, on The Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.